Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, first of all, I, I feel like, you know, you're, you guys are getting a lot of positive reception, accolades, and uh, recognition in your work environment for the work that you have been doing. Um, I feel like you are, you guys are kind of like the catalyst for a major transformation in the work to, uh, workplace to happen. So, you might have uh, been on the forefront of some type of a change and you might have seen the, the, the every step of the way in that entire process. And now the process, the, 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 it could be like, um, it could be like a, a, an experiment that they're running and you're supposed to be in charge of it. You're supposed to record the data. You're supposed to, you know, uh, troubleshoot. You're supposed to see it through from the beginning until the very end. And then at the end, you write a report about it. You re uh, then submit the report to your higher ups and they look at it and they assess whether or not it was successful, what was done right and things like that. And then they use that kind of to, um, to allow other offices, other areas to emulate the success. So I feel like you're on the forefront of some type of a major change. And so as a result of it, you're getting a lot of recognition. Um, I see you as being the catalyst for something to flow smoothly in your work environment. So either you're the logistics person, you're the one that shrug, troubleshoots, or you're the one that um, that sees it from beginning to end. Okay, so as a result of it, you're getting here a lot of recognition. We have here the Six of Wands. This is a major win, a major victory, but also getting very positive um like getting positive attention from higher ups and also from the people that you command. So I feel like if those of you who are in um, management positions, you are well regarded by, you're well respected and well regarded by the people underneath you and also from the people that oversee your, the work that you do. Um, I see there could potentially be major compensation as well coming in as a result of it, uh, of the, the work that you've kind of streamlined, okay? I'm also seeing you're very visible in the spotlight for this week. Uh, everything that you do will be noticed. All the ideas that you have, it's important to bring them to light. So that means don't hold back. If you have an idea that you are itching to implement or you're itching to kind of bring forth into the world, this is a week for you to do that. It's going to uh, be well received. And I feel like for, for those who are writers, who are publishers, who are performers as well, I see some people composing music, composing poetry, publishing a book, or even thinking like finishing up a book or you have an idea for a play, a comic book, or whatever it is, whatever it is that you have in your mind, bring it forth to people and it's going to be very well received, okay? You have a lot of good things coming into the picture. I also see people who are self-employed as well. You might have hit a rough patch. I feel from the May time frame. for those who are self-employed, there might have been a slowdown when it comes to clients when it comes to money when it comes to the work and i feel like things have picked back up since october and it's on an upward trajectory so don't worry about it okay um relationships overall for those in committed relationships i feel like it's time to introduce something new into the relationship to bring the two of you closer so i feel this element about staying in a relationship because it's expected of you because of this sense of responsibility um, but the passion and the chemistry and the love might be slowly slowly drained out of the relationship do something to re-inject that passion into the relationship to fall in love with one another again because i feel like there is an emotional rift here between relationship partners but I don't feel anybody walking out. I don't see cheating or infidelity or anything like that. But I feel like it still can be saved if you take the steps to, you know, revive the relationship. And for others, I feel like there's somebody in your life that you are very attracted to. And I feel almost like, I, I feel almost like 
the two of you might be walking different paths. Okay, I have here the Six of Wands, one person, and the Six of Swords, the other person. Um, you're, you're doing things in a very linear way. One person is really, you know, at the peak of their career, and they're just coasting. The other person is trying to find their career path. They have uh, flirted with self-employment. They've worked for other people. They worked in the public sector, the nonprofit sector, the private sector. They're still trying to find their way. And I feel like one person is progressing upwards. The other person is trying to branch out laterally. And because of that, I feel like your paths might start to diverge. So that means they might be in your life. For a very very short time, and then they might, you know, fly off and go uh, go off somewhere else. Okay, so there's um, it, it signals to me like something might be ending, and it's gonna bring you a lot of sadness. It's gonna bring you a lot of sadness. So whatever you can do to express how you feel to this person, you might have two months to do it. November, December, you you might have you know two weeks to do it. And I feel like you're not really making a move because you don't want to hinder this person's progress. But it would be in your best interest to kind of express how you feel. So I feel like there's somebody in your life that you have really strong attraction with, but there's this love-hate type of energy, and it's um, it's normal, I guess, uh, as a Gemini, right? You're pulled in different directions normally, and so somebody is stirring really strong passion. Feelings within you, and I feel like there's this、um, inner conflict that you have when you deal with them. How should I behave with them? So one moment you're very soft and very concerned about them, the next you're like joking around, teasing them, and possibly being a little bit、um, provocative with them. So I, I feel like you're dealing with some inner conflict as to this person. And I also feel like the the there's sexual tension, and I feel like that's what's、um, causing this、um, tug of war between you and another person. Both people, I feel, are very very independent. The other person more so than you. The other person, they they follow their own path. They keep to their own counsel. They like their own company. They like their alone time. They need a lot of space to roam. And I feel like with you, you still need to bounce ideas off of other people. You need to lead people. You need to direct people. But at the same time, you still need to interact with a lot of people. And so I feel like you're a lot more social than they are, and they are a lot more independent than you are. And I keep seeing this undercurrent of you know really intense, strong, intense chemistry. And、um, it's so intense that it might play out in sexual frustration in the way that you, the two of you, deal with each other. So what I see is conflict stemming from frustration because you know、uh, things are not getting off the ground, the relationship is not getting off the ground, or you're constantly assessing how they feel about you. They have feelings for you. They really do. I feel like they're really attracted to you. They like you as a person, but it's hard for this person because they're so used to their own company. It's hard for them to show emotions. It's hard for whatever reason for them to show emotions, and then from your end, you have a lot of suitors. You have a lot of people that are interested in you, and so I feel like. Yes, you notice this person. You notice that this person does stand out. But I also feel like being exclusive to one person might not be your top priority right now. And I also feel like you like the attention from other people, so you don't want to, you know, narrow down and be exclusive to one person. So that's what I'm, I'm feeling. But I also feel like this person does stand out. And you know, if you if there's a time limit, if they're they're leaving. Or if they're, if you're aware that they're leaving,、um, there might be regrets from your end about emotions that you're not expressing now. There might be regrets from your end about, you know, how things should have been, how you could have done things differently,、um, 
once the person leaves your life, that's when you're going to start to feel their absence. So right now, everything is okay from your end, but when they're no longer in the picture, and I keep getting like two weeks, two months, two months in particular, that's when it's going to be heavily felt. Okay, so don't don't delay on things and don't do things that you might regret later, or don't not do things and then regret them later. I'm feeling like somebody is pushing you to、um, change location. Somebody is telling you about opportunities for housing. Okay, so it's like they're telling you you should sell, you should sell, you should sell your property, you should move away, you should get another job over here, or they're they're making recommendations. I know someone who has a place for sale, or I know somebody who has a place for rent. If you're looking, I can like make the introduction for you. I also see a lot of people in theater, like in.、Um, Either are performers, like in a play, in a musical. I, I see you doing like a,、um, spending a lot of time on like wardrobe, getting the hair just right, getting the makeup just right, getting the clothing to fit that time period just right. So you're doing your independent research, and I feel like it's going to pay off. Okay, so whatever you're doing in order to land that job, that role, that gig. Or to even present yourself in a historically accurate way is going to be very well received. So all of these things are not going unnoticed. I also feel、uh, the time for sitting on the sidelines of life is done and over with. So this is actually a very very busy week where you have a lot of things. I, I see like checklists. I see these boxes. And then you're checking things off as you go. You're getting things done. You're getting, you're taking care of、uh, little errands here and there, which is great because you know、um, Mercury goes into retrograde on the 17th of this month. Whatever you can do this week, that's important. Try to do it now. And then you know during the Mercury retrograde, it's all about, it's all about.、Um, Like having to redo things, so do them now before it enters retrograde, and then by that time we're not going to be as clear-headed. We're a little bit more forgetful. We're a little bit prone to making mistakes, and so it's a little bit harder to get things done and to find the motivation to get things done and to do things even accurately. So I feel like you're knocking things out in anticipation of this. So some of you might be into astrology. Some of you might be aware of the energy when Mercury goes into retrograde because you know. Mercury is your ruler, and I feel like it tends to affect a lot of people that are Gemini's and Virgos because Mercury rules both of those signs. And in particular, if you have Mars or Mercury, especially natally in the sign of Gemini or Virgo, that's when、uh, I feel like things do go awry, or you you don't think、um, as clearly as you would normal times of the year. So this is just you taking precautions in order to mitigate the impact of Mercury retrograde, which is great.、Um, I'm also feeling. I'm, I'm also feeling like. For some of you, you're narrowing down your options, and this can be work projects. So I feel like I, I see a lot of people in theater, in music, dance, theater, and you might have a lot of gigs. You might have a lot of、um, people telling you, "Do you want to try out for this, or do you want to take on this role?" And I see you narrowing down your options. And I feel like some of you might take on two roles. I two, I see two sources of income. I'm also seeing as well.、Um, it, it's almost like we're not going to be multitasking anymore. We're going to be devoting our energy and being very focused. To get things done one by one by one, when we multitask, we tend to make mistakes. So we've learned from the past, and we're not going to multitask. We're going to do one thing, knock them out, and then move on to the next thing. So you're a little bit more methodical, and you're changing the way that you do work. You're changing the ways in which you are. It's it's almost like knowing our strengths and our weaknesses, and working towards in improving them. 
or relying on them to get work done in a smart way. Um, I also see as well new enlightenment that can be reached, okay? It, it, especially if you're dealing with a person and for whatever reason, you don't understand their behavior. And I feel like they're, they're very, very like, um, they're very passionate, they're very spirited, and they always, they're constantly on the move. And you never understood why they're so restless. And I feel like this is the week where you come to the realization or you come to the understanding that they're not restless. They're just looking for something that stirs their passion. And so they're going around looking for that one thing. And they're not going to rest until they find it. So it's not so much restlessness. It's, it's feeling inspired. So there is, of course, restlessness. You know, people that are bouncing around, aimless and directionless. I feel like this person has a sense of direction. They're just trying to find it. So they're not so much bouncing around. They have a clear objective in mind. They have like a logical progression. It, it's like organized chaos. Other people might not understand it, but in their mind, it makes sense. And so you're going to come to the realization that um, I see you giving your love to a fire sign. That's the message I'm getting. Um, so fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And this is somebody that you've had a lot of back and forth with. But I, I definitely feel like there's going to be some um, mutual understanding that will pave the way for things to smooth out between the two of you. Okay, so for things to kind of normalize and, and kind of um, smooth out just between the two of you. So that looks really good. So I hope the reading is helpful. I hope it resonates with you, Geminis. I do wish you all the best, okay? So take care, and uh, I'll be back next week.